join me. Let's go. Woo. Me and Sheldon having a dance. Good morning, Denise. Woo. Baby, look at me and tell me what you see. Come on, here we go. Forget the rest. Fantastic, Em. Woo! Love it. I can dance, moon in my hands. Don't you know who I am? Love this. Every class should start with this, I think. I'm gonna learn how to fly. I'm gonna make it. Hi, Kathy. Welcome, welcome. I'm gonna live forever. Baby, remember my. Who's excited? Because I am. New top. Just say it. Any excuse? Otherwise known as a warm up for tonight's disco. Oh, it's not tonight, it's tomorrow, isn't it? Give me love and I'll take all I've got to give. So, this morning, that was a bit loud, sorry. Even to be on ears, that was loud. Week two, well, I know it's week three, but somebody wasn't well last week, so it's week two officially. What it takes. You really do need to get Rainbow or Nikki, don't I? Really need to do that. I've ordered some um, coloured bands for my hair. And some different coloured headbands. That's what I do at 6 o'clock in the morning. Don't know what you all do. That's what I do. Remember my name. Yay, my mum's here. Everybody a moment to join us and then we will get started. I get that exciting every week to put this on. Every week. Be right back, she's going to find a headband, I know she is. She's going to find a headband. Woo! So, what are we doing right now? Come on, shuffle in your chair. We will be hiding. Hi, Linda. I'm gonna live forever. I'm gonna learn how to fly. Hey, coming together. If you're watching this on Catch Up later, hello, Catch Up people. Let us know. Hashtag Catch Up. I'm gonna sky like a flame. Disco tonight, tomorrow, tomorrow, disco tomorrow. It's not quite the award ceremony, her do is it? People will see me. what I'm thinking. Nothing else. If that's all we do today, we'll be back. Oh, Denise, thank you. How's going last week? Good 
what I said last week, because Friday is my favourite day. <laughs> I get music on twice on a Friday. It's fabulous. I love it. I love it. You're right, I am. It's nice to be back as well. It really is. Oh, you should have seen me last week. The work. I couldn't even get off the sofa. Anyway. We're here now. We're fine now. So, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Friday Wellbeing. How has your week gone? Let me know how your week has gone. Um, I have been posting this week pictures of where I've been up to um, food-wise. And that's what's inspired me to talk about what I want to talk about this week. So, we are, I know, like, we're on week three. But I just wrote my book week two because it's confused because I weren't here last week. Morning, Rach. How you doing, beautiful? So, this week I want to talk to you about um, my new rules. I want to talk to you about your new rules. <laughs> uh, we're going to do that for about 15, 20 minutes and then for 15, 20 minutes or until I pass out, one or the other, we are going to do some movements of music. And the movements of music you can either do in your chair you can just do like we are on a Friday night and you can have a bit of a jiggle in the chair. You can use your arms. Um, if you want to get up and join in, which I know some of you want to do, um, I'm hoping over the weeks we'll, we'll all start to get this kind of thing because I love the idea that you're all there on a Friday morning looking as glam as this. Um, so we're going to do 15, 20 minutes. I've got some great songs coming up that we can just get up and dance to, get up and walk to. And here's my get out class. I'm not insured for that. I'm not an aerobics teacher. So I'm just letting you know, right? You're on your own. You're more than welcome at your end in your own home to move to what's comfortable with you. Just as long as we've covered that. That is fine. I am liking this. Sorry. Ah, whoa, look at that. So. Let's start off with this week's topic. This week's topic is my new rules. So I'll be honest with you, I've been struggling to get going. Even though we've, we've, we've chatted a few times, I've been struggling to get going. And it was always like, oh, we'll start then and we'll start then and we'll start then. Anyway, I just thought, enough. Enough, Mrs. Price, enough. <laughs> Which usually means enough Mr. Price as well, because whenever Mrs. Price is doing it, he has to join in. Otherwise, he's making his own thing, um, which to be fair, he usually does. So, this week, without realising I was doing it, I went back and did a little bit of old school. And I've put some pictures on as well this week. I went back to things I know work for me and my body. I'm going to guess if we're all watching this, that we've all at some point been on this roller coaster of I want to lose some weight, oh, put weight back on, I want to lose some weight, put weight back on. Um, which is why we, we go, we're going along the lines of well-being, because I want us to do a whole rounded view. I want us to feel better. I want us to, if you choose to do, um, look, I was going to say look better, that's not all right, because I look bloody good right now, thank you. <laughs> going to challenge me on that one then I don't look right good right now as I do with my tiara on a Friday night so we look good now but I know it would make me feel more comfortable if I could shed a little bit of this a little bit of weight that I'm carrying out it'd be really good for my muscle for my, for my back and for my knees and, and other things so I know that I want to do it for the right reasons I also want to just make sure as well that I'm pushing my um program with regards to how I look after myself so that includes that like, what we're eating what are we drinking what movements am I doing and how am I looking after myself we've just finished a month of finding joy refinding joy on Tuesday evenings and that has been oh thanks so that has been brilliant I've loved our Friday nights uh, our oh, I always love Friday nights. Tuesday evenings uh, we've been looking at what brings us joy and it's really important we've had a really tough year let alone life stuff going on. We've had a really... <laughs> Mrs. It. I'm missing something. <laughs> or missing something might be a better way. <laughs> Thank you, Rach. Um, so I want us to have this overall package that we that works for you. That's why I've deliberately not come on and kind of, it's kind of said, you must eat this, you mustn't eat that. We're all... Right. Excuse me for breaking this to you on a Friday night. And I'm fully happy to take this sentence back in a moment. Because um, this doesn't apply to every adult that's in this house. <laughs> it's downstairs. Um, apparently we're adults. <laughs> Does this look like an adult? Do we look like adults? We don't, do we, Sheldon? It's a cruel, cruel world that calls us adults. Um, so we know what works for us. So for me, I did a little bit of old school. I kind of went back to... Right, I want to eat things and be be excited about eating things. I don't want to eat stuff that I'm kind of thinking, oh, God, it's lunch coming. Well, 
because that's all right for a couple of days when you do that i'm motivated but on day four and day five when it starts raining outside and your, your, your muscles are aching a little bit because we've done a little bit more movement than what we have done for a long time many years um and we've got emotions that are coming left right and center well, i'm gonna go back i'm gonna go back to to my old ways because i want comforting so what i've done without realizing it and it was only on week uh, sorry not on week getting ahead of myself day <laughs> day two or day three um that i suddenly realized every meal that i was eating included fruit or vegetables now with the greatest respect if someone had said to me three or four weeks ago every meal that you eat you've got to have um you've got to have fruit or vegetables in it my teenage brain would have gone i don't think so <laughs> i don't think so because my teenage brain was the brain that went i'm not having peas or cauliflower still say it now i'll be honest with you i'm not having those carrots i'm not having this i'm not having that um, i'm not having sprouts I'm not having those things because they're boring and i don't like them but my adult brain goes actually i'll be honest with you Nick, there's a lot of that you do like um so but it's it's about picking the things that you do like and making it if i'm being honest with you not hard work so you've seen this week for me my i think my biggest um barrier was breakfast and lunch evening meal i'll be honest with you for, for me and i know it's all different for each one of us but evening meal for me was 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 as long as we're organized and we've been shopping which i did on monday I hurt my back on monday in morrison's but <laughs> i did it i did it um but evening meals were fine for me because that made that made sense in my head but for lunch and for breakfast i was kind of like don't know what i'm gonna do don't want to do so again without realizing it i went back to old school and my old school was, um, if you see me with you, to ball with you did. Uh, my old school was Rivita, right? And let's be honest, again, if I'd come on here and said four weeks ago, you all have to eat raw Rivita, you would have been like, no, Nick, we're not in the 1980s. Apparently, we are. Um, but, so I thought, I know that works. It's easy. It's in the cupboard. It's not going to go off within a day or two. It's there if I want to. And what I have also discovered, um, that Ravi to do some very nice flavours. <laughs> very nice flavours. So I've got one at the moment that I was showing you the other day that's got the currants in it. And then I've also, I'm, I'm not on commission for Ravi to just so we're clear, but that feels like I should be. Um, and then I have one that's got black pepper in it. And I also got some low fat cream cheese. Um, and again, different, different variations of that. I did that and then I've either had grapes that are on it, um, cut up, Red grapes cut up on top or i've had tomatoes on it and then i've had tomatoes black pepper over the top and some wafer thin am depends on what's going on and i think for me like last night i was I would, i'd got hungry before um just was home um it didn't get home till about quarter to seven i thought i'm hungry now so i just made a couple of rivetas with them on and it was fine because my body was because i was chewing it as well if that makes if that makes sense because sometimes a banana will do and sometimes a banana won't do and at that moment it wouldn't so it's going back to what works for <laughs> i've just realized what my mum's saying now i've had support with <laughs> you talking about the vegetables aren't you <laughs> so just come to me now sorry mum yeah you're right <laughs> just come with you yeah you're right um sorry mum um it, it, this this is knowing what you like so i've said to just this week listen i really fancy what happens if we get a couple of pieces of chicken or even a nice piece of steak and again please this is what works in your world i said well, let's make a really nice big salad and he was like mm, i'm not sure about salad i'm not sure about salad teenage bread came in so i said that's all right i get that what salad do you like because we're very very different I was like okay am i gonna have shredded lettuce and i can have lots and lots of red onion and if i can have some cherry tomatoes on there so i said fine i can do yours and then on mine i've got some lovely sweet corn on there i've got some pineapple which i bought like morrison's own or tesco's and whoever's own you buy um in the juice rather than the syrup so i've been using that because i like do you know what i mean there is nothing worse than getting something and it's dry i mean salad when a salad's done nice, I have a carrot that's grated up in it. So you you were looking at it. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> My salad looked like these, just just like that. Did I put grapes in it? No, but I feel like I should do next time. That is what your salad should look like, just like that. Because you look at it and go, oh, that looks really nice. And let's be honest, it takes two minutes to grate a carrot, and they cost next to nothing. Um, it's it, it's madness. It's like forty two p for a bag of carrots. Um. 
and I always buy like the Tesco, um, Morrison's own or Tesco's own or Aldi's own version of sweet corn or whatever it is that works in your world. Because the thing is we have in our head, and some of this is true, but some of it I think they've worked hard the supermarkets to change, is that we have this thing in our head that if we're eating healthier, it's going to cost more money. And the way I look at that is if I was going to, just for an ex for example, if I was going to go to McDonald's for um, a lunch because I'm not organised, so I'm going to get a lunch, that's going to cost roughly about five, six pounds, we'll go with that, whatever that is. And I'm doing that in that moment because it's easier for me. Because I'm hungry, I, had, I didn't have anything in the fridge, it was easy to do that. And I knew what I ate that I liked. And I also knew what I ate wouldn't um, upset my stomach. Because sometimes when I eat greasy food, my stomach bloats up. Um, I had my gallstone, I had my gallbladder out even, sorry, a couple of years ago. So I have to be really careful um, what I eat. So my, my body's just like, oh no, we don't need this. We don't need this right now. Um, so it just turned into a habit. Yeah, so that, that was £5. You do that over one, two days. All of a sudden, actually, even just £5, you can get something there that will last you, not even just for one day, you're talking a couple of days. So I just think it's about looking at what is it that's stopping us. Is it because when we, we, you, we hear the word salad or we hear the word vegetables or we hear the word fruit, we think, oh, boring. I, this week, and I was having this conversation with, with Kayla yesterday, because um, I was telling her about the smoothie that I made. I was actually telling her about the smoothie maker that stopped working before it ground down the frozen fruit. <laughs> Just like, no, don't do that. If I had a thing of milk with frozen fruit in it. <laughs> I was like, no, that's not what's supposed to happen. Um, but I was just saying to her, I said, get a bag of mixed fruits, frozen fruit. That doesn't, that, that's couple of pound in the freezer you're not worrying about it going off if you're going to have it in a smoothie you can do or the overnight oats there's enough recipes that have been put on this week for overnight oats which is brilliant and that's what i'm loving is when someone's putting pictures on of what they're having someone else has come back and got to love that idea have you thought about that and that to me is it's tapping into we eat with our eyes we eat with us. I remember my mum saying that to me years and years and years ago when I had um, when I had my, my, my coffee shop down in Somerset. My mum's like, whatever you do, make sure you've got pictures of the food because people eat with this. If you make yourself a salad and it looks like ugh, or some veg and it's just it's not exciting, you're not going to be excited about it. Now, I'm not saying we have to be doing the can-can every time we're having a breakfast, lunch and evening meal, but I do want you looking forward to something. I do want you to kind of think, oh, I've got that coming up. I felt, and I will be honest with you, I felt a little smug this week because I've, I've completely just gone, this is what I'm doing this week. Um, it's helped. I've taken the photos. I've put them on because I feel like then I'm sharing. So it feels like I'm doing it for another reason. I know I'm not, but in my head, that works. Um, and then I've had a few discussions with quite a few of you actually about, I like that. What about that? I've not thought about that. So again, I'm engaging in it. But I think the biggest change that I had this week was I went to the supermarket and I went with a plan. I went with a plan. That was really a big turning point for me this week. And I knew, because I said last week, uh, not last time, the, the time before, what it was or what one of the barriers was. Um, I also know when I went, my back was so sore. That's an understatement when I finished. So I know when I go again, I need to get just to come with me because I can't do the packing bit. It was just, it was just too much for me. Um, and also I need to go to physio. That's the other thing I need to do, not to self. Um, so those are my changes this week. Those are my new rules to start off with. So my, my new rule this week for myself is that every meal I have, there needs to be fruit, veg or salad included. So, and again, other little changes. So yesterday I was going down to Stoke to see uh, Dave at Radio uh, Rainbow FM. And I was picking Kayla up on the way. Now I knew by the time I'd finished my live, I didn't have time to prepare something. So again, I wasn't organised. But that's okay. Um, so I jumped in the car, picked up Kayla. Kayla was going to Subway. Um, and I thought, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get myself a chicken wrap from McDonald's. But I didn't get the fries. I got a bag of fruit. And I got myself a, a diet drink or something or other. Now again, I think it was 400 and something calories. It's not ideal. It's not as good as, in my head, as good as a salad or my, my Vita or my da 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 But what I didn't do was go, oh no, I forgot, and got the large one with the large fries and the dip and the this and the that, which is what I was doing. And I will be honest with you, 
I thoroughly enjoy that chicken. It's a, I have a sweet chilli chicken one. Um, and I enjoyed every mouthful. Every mouthful I enjoyed. And because I got the fruit bag with it, it wasn't as though I was losing out on some fries. It was like, that's okay. Now, I'm just show, showing with you the little things that I've changed this week. You might be sat at home, well, you should be going to McDonald's, or you shouldn't be doing this, or I don't like Rabbit, I don't like... But what can you give yourself as a new rule? So the uh, the new rule with regards to, to food and water, I've upped my intake. Um, they are, Linda, I did not know about Subway salads until I was having this conversation with Kayla halfway down the motorway. <laughs> and Kayla went, do you ever do salads? I was like, clearly not. Um, so we had a good discussion about salads. And actually, she's changed what she has on Subway. She used to have like lots of cheese and lots of this. And actually, she's been going for chicken and bacon. So again, it's these small steps small small steps that we we are we are taking but you are right that again that was my discovery yesterday um that subway do do salads because you can you can have what you want on it my favorite thing and i am booked in um for harvesters on the 17th of may which is the first day that they open um inside and i went outside last week uh, but our, our one that we always go to the one in warrington it opens uh they all open don't they on the on the 17th great seed pods oh see now Loving it, Linda. Dual purpose. Loving it. So me and Kayleigh are booked in at Harvesters on, on the Monday that they open. And my favourite thing that I love more than anything when I go to there is the salad bar. Because I can have bits of this and bits of that. We all know what we like. And we all know what we don't. So just have what you like. I also bought um, a little bag of croutons as well for my salad. And again, I'm not going to go over the top because we can look at it and we could, you know. But I just think... If I'm looking at it and I think, oh, that looks good, I'm going to enjoy it and I'm going to stick to it. That's the important bit for me. Um, brilliant, Rich. Oh, I love as much. I went from size 12 to a 20, so I started cycling. I continue to eat what I want to, but by cycling, the weight fell off. I'm struck, uh, I'm back in a 12, 14. I'm saying this, Nick, in case someone struggles. Thank you so much. If the poos, if the, if the indoor catch diet, the bike works, Perfect. Love that. You have led me beautifully into movement because this is this is an overall change, isn't it? I agree with you. I do not want to be a slave to what I am eating for the rest of my life. I want to have a really nice balance because do you know what? Every now and again, I enjoy such and such a thing or I enjoy such and such a thing. What I've put, what I've changed this week's my other new rule this week is I've realised that if I am standing, I'm standing still. And actually, while I'm making a brew, or I'm doing a little bit of cooking, or whatever it is, while I'm sat, when I finish sitting here, I could just put one song on, and I can get my steps up. And I think because I said that I was going to do this Friday morning, I thought to myself, I need to do a little bit of exercise before I just turn up here. <laughs> There's a reason I've got this done because I'll be sweating like a good one. Uh, but that's all right. That's 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 all right. Um, you're either sweating or we're not. You don't have to sweat to, to, to lose weight. And I know Kathy has put some brilliant um, sit-down exercises on this week. Em's put a lot on. Um, so, it, again, this is about, as, as uh, Rachel was just saying there then, um, this is about finding movement, exercise, whatever it is that works for you in your world. And if right now we, we can do an extra 10, 15 steps... Maybe every time we go to the loo or, or we could just, it soon starts to add up. Now I've wrote down somewhere, oh there, sorry, somewhere my steps before I've started this. Before I started, not before I started talking because clearly I've done none. Um, but before I kind of do the, the music and a bit of a dance in here. And the reason that I wanted to do this is because I noticed on a Friday night when the music was on, I was thinking to myself, oh I'll get up and dance to that. Um... So, of course, dancing's movement. There's a, there's a reason why there's aerobics. There's a reason why there's Zumba. Um, and I thought, do you know what? Why don't I on a Friday morning just do 10, 15, 20 minutes, whatever we can do before, like I said, before, before I crash down? Um, is, is That will get my steps up. Hopefully, it will inspire you to put your music... Oh, thank you, Cathy Sweeter. To put your music on at your end. Because, again, we all have different music. Now, the music this week... Hello, Roro. The music this week is taken from our Emma's 70s um, fit list. Emma does, can I just point out, the best playlists ever. Just saying. So, they're on Spotify. 
again, I really should be on commission for everything I talk about. Just saying. Um, Spotify is free. You can have the premium version, but it is free. It's an app that goes on your phone or your iPad pad or you whatever it is that you've got your tablet and it means you can download music any music you want um now if you have the premium one you don't have to have adverts if you've not got if you've got the free version there's adverts in that's all right while while you're having an advert have some have some water um, you welcome them i love yours and the other thing as well about emma's playlist which i've done a few times this week is i've put them on when i'm going having a shower and getting ready because again this isn't just about um, exercise. I mean, Rachel, I'm pretty sure Rachel will agree with this, is exercise. It's about how it makes you feel. If someone says, if you just do that because it'll lose weight, we do it because it makes us feel good. So I've got Em's um, music on in the morning and I'm just like, I have to remember not to do it in the shower because my health and safety kicked in. I went, don't be silly. Don't be silly. Don't dance in the shower. Um, but as soon as I go, but I'm, while I'm having my shower, I'm listening to it and it's upbeat. So I'm feeling a little bit better as opposed to got this to do that to do um it's, it's making me feel better and all of a sudden i'm just gently bringing something in so there's some fact there is really good playlist really good playlists on there um what i've done this morning is from that 70s playlist i've just created myself a new one with five or six so songs on that i'm going to use this morning we've also um em's also done the rainbow playlist pretty much from the disco songs that we've ever played and periodically <laughs> so you know that gets added too because I suddenly got M add this song. <laughs> trying to have a good time on a Friday night, and all of a sudden it's just to start adding songs. It's brilliant. It's a brilliant team. It works well. It is. She tries to make them all upbeat. It is. It is. It's about. And sometimes, even if we if we're not feeling it or we're tired, and actually what we end up doing is just swaying or moving. If we are moving, we are moving, and that is. I've sat and not moved for a long time. Um, many, many, many reasons. Well, ma mainly because of my back. Uh, and, but then it's become a habit. And da 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 So this is about just kind of helping you find what works for you in your world. And if it's just kind of after we finish this today, we feel a lot better, good. Because feeling better is part of well-being. It's not just about if we want to do, do some dieting or we want to do some exercise. It's about how do we want to feel and then the last thing I wanted to do, bear with me one second because I'm trying to remember what they're called. Well-being and self-care, I would say. I knew, there, I knew there was something else I was supposed to be switching on. Um, and again, we looked at this, do you remember? We looked at this and I want to ask each week, what is your absolute have to this week? What do you have to do this week which ties in with self-care for you? Now, self-care can be that actually, do you know what? I am going to, I am going to commit to doing... Um, a walk twice a week i am going to commit to doing however many steps and make sure the steps are right for you don't commit to doing ten thousand steps if you know that ten thousand steps is not achievable for you right now or maybe ever that's all right because we ain't comparing ourselves remember we don't compare ourselves because that will that will lead to nowhere i promise you so what is your act of self-care for yourself this week that you have to do is it that you want to bring some brighter colours into your food? Um, you don't have to, by the way. <laughs> That's just me thinking of change my three Harry Lander, three Harry Colours. That is an act of self-care. And I'll be honest, it then becomes an act of self-care for all of us because you share them. Um, <laughs> just saying. Um, it's notice and appreciated. Uh, roll on the 1st of May. Thank you, Cathy. I love that. I'm going to find out what exercise helped me with my fibroids. I will do this. Love that. What act of self-care are we all going to take this week? Mine is I'm going to get my steps up and I'm going to get them. I'm going to see what, they, what the average was. I'm going to do a little bit of looking. What did I do last week? And I'm going to commit to maybe on two days or three days that I'll do more than I did last week. Have you noticed I'm deliberately saying I'm not going to beat it every day? Because I don't know how I'm going to feel each day. And the minute that I have a day where stuff has happened, um... And then I can't get out walking because either I'm not up to it or my back's hurting. I've then gone into a failed. That's not looking after ourselves. That's judging ourselves. So remember to make things achievable. Uh, let's have a look, Linda. Waiting for my COVID test results in the car. I listened to the channel my son had on for a while. He was home and dancing. Oh! Home and dancing. And I found out I uh, found out that feet wasn't a saying as I said out loud. <laughs> that must be related to the cold, cold feet. <laughs> 
I did the whole vlog. <laughs> I love it. I love it when we <laughs> when people don't quite know what it is that we do and they see it for the first time. It's like yeah. It's when someone asks me, "What is it you do?" I think, Ooh. try to explain that. Try to explain that. Just so you know, tonight. So we know that it's the award ceremony tonight, and it's disco tomorrow, uh, and also Emma G's birthday. Just saying. Um, so it's award ceremony tonight. Um, I will make sure that the link is on. You're more than welcome to come. Just so I'm not 100 percent sure this is happening yet, but I think it might be. I think that it might be me and Padre that's at the award ceremony. Um, we <laughs> we will see. That's the plan. <laughs> in Padre. Um I find waking up and turning the news on made me feel miserable. I felt I uh, plodded through the day, but since. Uh, da, da, da. Since I turned the TV off and the music on, it really does boost you. Um, oh, you'll be so positive and set by death for it. Uh, I'm off to time. <laughs> All right, thank you, boys. I'm off to time and see you today. Don't forget, it's not disco tonight. It is disco's tomorrow night, Rach. And tonight is the award ceremony. So, uh, yes. <laughs> Two daughters of us this week. Should we get started? Should we do, should we do some movement? Because I'm ready now. I feel like I've talked enough now. I did well there. Managed to get all of that. From it is though, isn't it? I think that's a regret. Are you absolutely right, Linda? It is. Not watching not watch the news since 2015. Well done, you. Thank you, Caviar. Do you like them? <laughs> right. Come on then. So, again, my disclaimer. I am not an aerobics teacher. Right. Just saying. Not an aerobics teacher. Not insured for this bit. So, you're on your own. Just, we're all adults. Just do what's right for you. Don't come and sue me. Right. I've deliberately smoothed my chair. Got room. I'm hoping you roll looking like I am. I haven't got my leg warmers on this week. I'll sort that out for next week. So I've just made myself an area that I can just move around in a little bit. Um, which included moving the dog basket and the raffle prizes and the this and the that. Oh, by the way, raffle is on. Nice prizes. Um, raffle's back on this week. <laughs> I had a week off last week. Raffle's back on this week. Um, so find yourself a space if you're up for it, just so you can move around too. If you're in your chair, fantastic. Stay in your chair. Get yourself... No, can I just point out, because I said get yourself comfy. Not mindfulness comfy. <laughs> Don't get these glasses mixed up. Um... <laughs> Thanks, <Em. laughs> Mr. P's downstairs, just message him. Yeah, I don't send that every day through the salary. Right, let's go. Let's just see how this goes. Just like we do on a Friday night, but without the alcohol. Woo! So I'm just gonna go side to side. Just wanna kind of give your body a bit of a warming, a bit of a warming and a bit of a warning. Just stepping sideways, so I'm getting me steps up, like I do with them on a Friday night. Let's go sideways. Woo. I'm just thinking, yes, it's 1990. To be warned, walk forward now. And now I'm going to walk back. I'm going to go forward. And back. Let's swing those hands. Woo! Sideways. Woo! Just click your fingers, clap your hands. Shoulders, keep walking if you can. I'll keep tapping your fingers. Notice by the time I get to the third or fourth step, I won't be talking. Woo! So even if you sat down, we can use the hands and the arms to what's comfortable for you. When he speeds up again in a second, we are going to shuffle that way. You know like uptown girl? Again, if you're fit 
the make these cards a few of you. Feel free to take it, take them. Let's go. Woo. And forward. Ready? For that walk, you are up. And again. And back. Ready? We're going Even if you sat down. Um, so let's go. Let's get the heart rate up just a little bit. The answer is yes, your heart's beating. I bet it's beating a bit faster. I'm going to start off on the slow one. So the idea is that we can still breathe and speak and dance and sing. I'm going to do a little bit of twisting and work on this bit. And still get any steps. Why? I 
don't know if I've warned Mr. Price I'm doing this. But he wonders what's going on. Hello, Fergie. Oh, she wears his undone. Hi, Fergie, too. Just side to side. If you can, keep those feet moving. Shoulders, if you're sitting down, that's fine. Move the shoulders. Bless you, Rachel. Good morning. Oh, bless you, Rachel. Can't breathe, Rachel. Woo! So, I'm going to... I don't know. Thank you, Mum. <laughs> Mum, have some water to breathe. Go. Mm. Good show, Mama. I'm 
three songs. <laughs> three songs, which is three more than what I've done any other week. We need a starting spot. It's really funny, my head's going, you've only done three songs. Oh my God. Da, 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 da. Three songs is three more than I've done. Goodness knows for how long. Should we see how many steps I did then? <laughs> Just give me a moment to get my breath back. <laughs> Check amongst yourselves. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 2,988. Whoa. 2,000 steps. I just did then. It was on 1,084 beforehand. 2,900. My God. 2,988. That explains why I look like this. Wow. That's brunt. I'm really chuffed for myself. I just need to get up to 3,000. Bear with me. I'm going to just do 12 steps. 1, 2, 3, 4. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> 2,000 steps. Yay! It's not even 11 o'clock. Oh, thank you. Get him. Get him. I'm sat stretching my legs while I'm sat down. Fantastic, Cathy. Um, you must just put that a Sometimes you feel hungry, but it's water your body wants. Drink every hour. A glass of water until it fills you, fills you up. Love that. Thank you, Mum. Thank you, Mum. It's interesting. My body, my head is going, what will they think? What will they think you've only done three? I could cry at that. What do we do to ourselves? What do we do to ourselves? It's awful, isn't it? There's not one person there. Well, well <laughs> if you are there saying you've only done three, keep it to yourself. I um, don't want to know. Um, isn't it just, you can see, got a rosy complexion. Heart rate was going, which is good. <laughs> it's still going now, which is fine. What I will do, is I will do a little bit of a stretch when I finish because I've I want to stretch my calves and my knees and my arms. Um, yeah, three is the magic number. I said that when I got Bobby. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Not quite sure. <challenged. laughs> oh, oh, thank you, Kathy. Listen, this is a journey we're doing together, isn't it? Um, thank you, everyone. I could pop a cry at that. <sighs> um, you're doing it. That's all that matters. Thank you, Em. Yeah. It's funny, isn't it? I suppose me saying that, um, that I could get really emotional over it. It's because there's been times where I've been able to go for a full night and dance. You know, there's aerobic classes I've been able to get all the way through and, and, and enjoy it. But I loved that then. I love that then, but I can feel it, which is good. And it's a starting point, isn't it, for each and every one of us, for wherever it is that we are going. <laughs> I can. It's okay. It's fine. So, for me... This week has been pretty life changing with regards to changing my new rules, watching what I mean, enjoying what I'm eating. What was really interesting was um, a new joy in the here and now. I love that. Thank you, Linda, and thank you for the love, Mum. Um, it was funny because um, I just always like to have a, a, a dessert or something after we've had tea. And um, I'd run out of yogurts. So he said, oh, I still have one of those Alpam bars. And uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm definitely not sponsored by Alpam. Um, because <laughs> I just didn't I took a bite of it. It was like eating cardboard. And I thought, do you know what? I'm not eating it. And at one point, I would have done. So I'm only eating things that I enjoy now. And I think that, to me, is what has really helped this week. I'm only eating eating things I enjoy and drinking lots and lots. Um, I didn't send out much these days. Lord, I enjoy my play. <laughs> it's too much. Well, this is it. It's enjoying them, isn't it? It's enjoying them. If I can do that two or three songs every morning, that will soon build up my stamina. And then we can go from two or three songs. I can maybe then maybe do three and a half, four songs. And before you know it, by the end of the year, we might be doing a full session. But we'll see. <laughs> slowly, slowly. <laughs> Let's not get carried away, shall we? Let's just go with where we are. Well, that's me sorted for the day. <laughs> Thank you all of you for being here with me while I did that because that's that's pretty big. Um, me doing that, I would have been quite ashamed um, of my body at one point over doing that, and I would certainly have been ashamed over kind of not being able to do lots. Um, it's you all that have given me the strength and courage to a non-judgment to be able to do that. So for me, thank you. 
I'm sure Friday mornings aren't supposed to be a cry fest for me, but hey ho. Um, thank you, each and every one of you. I'm so proud of all of you. Um, and if you're watching us on Catch Up, thank you for joining us on Catch Up as well. Let's keep going. This is a journey. This isn't just about who'll get there first. Um, oh, I like that. I have playlists on Shuffle, different one all the time, so I don't get bored. It's true, actually. I like that. I like to just change things around a little bit, because some days you just want something different, don't you? Um, let me know what your new rules are. What's your new rules that you're setting for yourself? Make them doable, make them enjoyable. Um, and let's start posting the pictures of our colourful food um, and make sure we're drinking lots of water. I shall finish that before I move anywhere. Right, I will see you. Oh, hang on a minute, what day is it? It's Friday. I will see you tonight. Oh, thank you, Mum. Um, I will see you tonight for the award ceremony. Um, I always get nervous over things like that. Um, and then I will see you tomorrow for Disco with Mr. Price and for Emma G's birthday. So have a wonderful day. Fingers crossed for us tonight. Even if you can't get the keep your fingers crossed for us. And I will see you later, but I'll also see you tomorrow. Don't forget the raffle tickets are on sale as well. Love you all loads. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Katrina. See you later. Bye.